We are streaming live here somehow, I believe we are, <laughs> into the ether. So let's find out uh, where we are right now. And I'm going to try to find me on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. And it was so nice to see my friend Mark over for coffee. And they're picking up some beautiful pottery from the only, one and only, Quinspired. So good morning, y'all. Daniel, Mexico's in the house. Hello, my friend. And um, let me just see here if I can see this bigger so I can see your comments. Uh, maybe I can't. Sherry Buck. Hello, Canada. And so let's see where else in the world we are. And on Facebook. On uh, YouTube, I can't see you, but if you say hi on the comments, I will give you a shout out as well. But Chris Wickless, woohoo! We're having our our morning crew here. Sherry, where's Dave? It's not the Dave show yet. It's like the Sherry, Chris, and Dave show. Sherry Buck says, good morning. I say good morning back to you. And I have been testing out this camera, which is soon to be released. It is the Panasonic G95. I finally have firmware that is up to date. I will be taking it on a test drive tonight too. Um, and um, I am really impressed. David Buck is in the house and he's going, morning. I'm saying morning back at you. It's okay. It's a Dave show now. I like it. I like it a lot. And let me just check back here. And whoever you are on YouTube, welcome here. I see one viewer who is watching. And if you're silent, that's okay. I still love you. Okay. But this is, at Chris Wickless says, I actually, I need to make the screen a little bit bigger so I can actually see what you're saying. I actually roasted this morning. No way! I was just talking to, Mark is my good buddy. He's in our Bible study group. We shot his wedding eons ago, but um, we have since become really close friends, and he is another coffee aficionado. And I was confessing to him how long it's been since I've roasted coffee, and so, mm, yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. Uh, he is a fan and turned me on to Pilot Roasters out of Toronto. And I do love their stuff. Shout out to them too. But um, yeah, I want to say hi to John Kennedy, Nick Chin, and Miguel. Peru's in the house. Yeah, yes, we're represented, man. Um, dude, I miss you. It's been too long. And so today we're going to be taking a look. Oh, Shenmunga Sandaram. Hi, bro. I need Panasonic video mixer. Which model is best? Can you suggest me? Hello. Hello, Guy 37 on YouTube. Um, I actually don't know much about the Panasonic video mixers. And so my apologies. What I'm taking a look at today is going to be the Panasonic G95. And it is this tiny micro four thirds camera, which if I'm not mistaken, has inherited the sensor of the GH5, which has been beloved for many years now. And so this thing is going to be released this month, and um, I will likely be picking one up because I wanted forever recording. But I did want to test it out with a couple of things. And one of the things is, uh, it's really tight my Metabones Speed Booster. And I bought this off my buddy. Oh, it's really tight. Oh my goodness, it's so tight. I can't get it off. <laughs> so sad. Anyways, I've got a Metabones speed booster so and, and a 50 millimeter Nikon lens on here. And I love this setup because I can pretty much get pretty close focusing and I can, um, it is all manual focusing. I should make a note, no autofocus. It actually is really hard to focus from the screen, but let me just show you the stuff. Shan Muga says only camera. Yeah, I'm only talking about the camera today, man. Sorry about that. And hello on Facebook once again, Brian Buchdruer. Nice to have you here. And Gabriel, welcome here. Miguel says, I'm going through my second cup. Yes, I already had mine. That's why I'm talking so fast. Okay, but before we keep on going, I will show you some footage that is straight out of the camera. So forgive me for the badness in the grading. I did not color grade at all. There's a couple of clips that I conformed to 24p from 60p that I shot, but I am terribly impressed with the quality of this video. So here you go.
And a big shout out to my friends at Sought and Found Coffee here in Calgary. That's Caleb and his beautiful family. And I was just having coffee there and we were, I would took my little camera, this exact setup, and was just shooting around. And a couple of observations. It is amazing! The built-in IBIS, the stabilization, uh, blew me away. Because again, remember, this is not a native lens. This is a Nikon 51.8, totally cheap lens, right? The thing is with the speed, speed boost booster, we actually get a much shallower depth of field than you would think from a medium for, uh, micro four thirds camera sensor. And the other thing um, is that it was just so stealth because it's just a tiny setup. I've got it on this tripod mount, but if you just take the camera itself, it's tiny, right? And the flip screen, I, the one thing I don't like is that the flip screen was hard for me to focus because it's so tiny. So I might be able to, I might get a external monitor on there. I just want to say hi to some people, Eric McRitchie. Good morning, Jody. Park Brew Coffee Co. is in the house. And Claudia, good to have you here, beautiful. Um, but anyways, so I the one thing I was concerned about was because I did a shoot uh, for our friends at Marteloup Braces, and I didn't like the colors I was getting out of it. So I talked to myself, self, what's wrong? And I think it's because I used the stock lens. It comes with this really cheap lens um, in the kit, which is a equivalent to a 24 to 120 lens, but it's 3.5 to 5.6. So it doesn't let a lot of light in. And I found that um, maybe I was doing something wrong with the customizations I was doing to the skin tones, but the skin tones were really flat and I wasn't getting a lot of good stuff out of it. But then I went back to this footage that I shot with my Nikon lens and it was just beautiful. And so I'm really impressed with the quality that I can get on this sensor. The one thing I don't quite I'm not quite sure of is how high an ISO I can go to that I'll be happy at 800 is fine but that's a far cry from my Sony a7 III where I can go you know I, I'm pretty okay even at 12,000 ISO to shoot in the dark with that thing the benefit of adapting lenses with a Metabone speed booster is that we do get really fast glass and so this 1.8 turns into a 1.2 I believe and some change so close yeah really fast glass which lets a lot more light in but but we lose autofocus. And so that's kind of a bad thing too. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's about all I want to share today, but I do have a thought of the day. I will not be here tomorrow because I'm at a shoot all day, but the thought of the day is this. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Woo! So yeah, I kind of tell my boys this too. Like, you know, like if you're going for those exams, if you're doing anything do it for the Lord. So my goal too. But thanks so much for being here, guys. God bless. And if you guys are looking for a camera, I will update you on my journey as I look for the ultimate run and gun little camera that can record forever. So cheers, God bless, and I'll see you guys hopefully Friday.